how's it going guys welcome back to the channel today i got a super cool video for you guys there's a sea hunt event going on at isla morada and when i saw the poster i was like isla morada sea hunts next to the pincho barge that has miami living 305 written all over it so you guys know i can't miss it but today it's gonna be a little bit of an og video because i am riding solo there's nobody with me today so the job today is to hook up my truck launch this by myself go to isla morada by myself and then when i get back i'm gonna put it back on the left behind the house so got a little bit of work to do to get the day started but nonetheless we got to get it going so here we go all right guys now we're here at the ramp we're gonna wait for these people to get their boat out the out the way i don't know if they're coming or going but i'm gonna get everything ready with this boat and turn on the power and lift the motors a little bit so they don't scratch on the bottom put my dock lines out so as soon as i get in there it's nice and quick so here we go Alrighty, the boat just left so that means we're up here we go once i see she starts floating Coming up. So that should be good right there. Emergency just in case. A little deeper than I like to go, but the boat's floating already, so we're good. Now, start the engines. And we should be able to power right out of here. Yep, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Turn this way so the front doesn't hit. I could have not got it more smooth, guys. You guys know the tide is high when basically it's level with this concrete slab right here. Right, let's anchor up here. Let's dock up right here and then go get the truck that's still over there at the ramp. And just like that guys is how I launched the boat by myself. We're out here in the water already and now we only got to head over to Isla Morada to catch up with the guys. If you guys want a full explanation on this video, I did a video of this about maybe a year and a half ago. I'm going to post the link right now. You're going to see it right now at the top. If you guys want to learn how to throw the boat by yourself at a ramp. Now let's get the day started. Alright guys, we're heading out. By the looks of it, beautiful, soft, calm day. Actually got a paddle border right there heading out to sea. That's how calm it is. But yeah guys, we're about to take off. We're gonna go the outside quick way. Taste la morada. Cuts on gas and time, so here we go. things I love about this boat guys the efficiency I'm literally going 43 miles an hour 42 43 and I'm burning 1.6 1.5 miles per gallon guys that's awesome that really is this will be my perfect speed to go to Bimini if I were to go Super smooth out here today guys, barely any waves whatsoever. I wouldn't even say these are one footers. This is 
Tavernier Key that we're coming by right now. I never come here to Tavernier, guys, because I don't like all that, you know, the bottom to be all slimy and full of grass and stuff. That's the only reason why I don't come here. now from boats. For those of you guys that are not from here, they just end up putting all these buoys, about 200 something buoys I think, to let everybody know this is a no motor zone. People keep trying to cut to Isla Morada through the sandbar and they're messing up the seagrass. So they put all these cones up to let everybody know not to cut and to come into the channel. Ridiculous that they even have to do this, but hopefully this helps protecting the seagrass and idiots from getting stuck. Alrighty guys, we made it. Slow down. There's water guys. Once I got to the sandbar, I found the pincho barge. I set my anchor just a little bit ahead of him. Went ahead, gave it a little bit of line so I could be parallel with the pincho barge as the other boats started to arrive at the same time. When you don't have to anchor between a hundred different boats all around you, it's pretty simple at the Isla Morada sandbar. All right, guys, we're officially anchored up here. Beautiful water. Like always, we got my dog here, Pincho Bars, scoping out the game. Got the other Pincho Bars up ahead, tied up with another 30 right here. And we got the Seahawks coming in at a steady pace. There's two bad boys right next to each other. This guys, this is the new 28 that just came out. The Escape 28 with twin 300s. This boat must fly, guys. All right, guys, just got amazing sandwich here. I don't even want to eat this, guys. It looks so good. Put it out here in the sun, make sure y'all get a good view of this thing. Look at this. Mm.
Yeah, guys, we've been out here getting full like it usually does. Met a subscriber here, Carlos. Met a couple subscribers already, and it's pretty cool to communicate with people that love and do what you like to do also. We got Carlos over here. Miami Living 305. Yes, sir. We got here a little party. Almost have my puppy. Hey, Carly. I see her dog. That's awesome. I right hear Mo. Que hola, que hola. Most of y'all people know him on Instagram. 305 Living, 305 Living in the house. How's what's up, bro? What's up, brother? We all good, we all good. Time, family, family. So everybody here, family time, all the sea hens getting together. <laughs> This is how you move your kitchen, your floating kitchen. You just slide it back. <laughs> Levanta la ancla adelante. Oh, he's coming right here. And just like that, the Pincho Bars is in its new location. I'm gonna have to slide back in a little bit. Awesome, guys. These are the people from Plantation. <laughs> Got me a nice shirt and a koozie. Yeah, here at 23. See, huh? I was actually talking to the owner of it, and he wants to go to Bivany. He's never gone before, but he's gone really out there to fish. So. Like that that sunshade he has is awesome. We got here Carlos's 27 game fish, the 225s. He's gone to Bibini a few times, but he wants to join the group and go with us. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to get copyrighted. This little VTech had the loudest sound system at the sandbar that day. And man, did it look nice sitting in the water. We got my dog from Instagram in the jet ski. If y'all like jet skis, I'm gonna put his, his Instagram right here. He has badass content with the, with the jet skis, guys. More boats are starting to come in as the day's getting over. People are noticing the hurricane ain't coming over here. So it's getting badass, getting full. All right, guys, we just all took a big, big family picture here for Father Sea Hunts. You out? Got it, bro. Take care, drive safe. Hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Big shout out to these guys giving me a hand at the end of the day to leave. They got badass seat, yellow fin, and the concept over there. All right. Take care. The good thing about making friends out here at the sandbar, they all help each other out, and that was nice and smooth to get out. And just like that guys, we're out. Nice and smooth with the help of these guys. Beautiful day out here. And I ended up winning this badass Yeti cooler. What a perfect day. A little bit more windy than how it was when I got here, but nothing the sea hunt can't take. we made it back safe looks like we beat the rain and look at the difference guys at the dock how high the water was to where it is now 
there's my truck but i'm not going to put it back on the trailer i'm actually going to put it on the lift behind the house so i'm gonna have to walk back over here and pick up the truck after look at the water line on these rocks guys that's easily a foot and a half almost two feet all right guys so i just cleaned up the boat everything's flushed well i'm working on the last engine it's flushing right now it was really nice meeting all the people from plantation and all the people from the sea hunt group see last engine flushing right there took off the cushions too because but probably by the time you guys see this video the storm had already passed but i believe his name is ian is a hurricane thank god it's not coming here to south florida it looks like it's heading more towards the panhandle hopefully by the time you guys watch this video it went somewhere else didn't go to you but i hope you know there's not too much destruction because it's not looking too good with a category three heading that way but again by the time you guys see this video that storm came and left so praying for the best for those people that got the storm heading their way but you guys already know the deal this is the part where i'm going to ask you guys to hit the like subscribe and the notification button and i'll catch you guys on the next video now the next video i do want to stress this boat right here on this lift you guys are not going to see it here anymore and that's all i'm going to tell you guys this boat will no longer be on this lift now you guys could figure out why maybe different house different boat i don't know but we'll see what happens this next video you guys are not going to want to miss it so make sure you hit that subscribe and that notification button so you guys are alerted for that next video that's coming up because i am so excited for it can't wait to share it with you guys so make sure you guys tune into the next video peace